are desantifying? And you only have 27 days to find a wife or you're out? Yeah. What are you gonna do? We dated for three years before you finally got up the courage to propose. That's a pretty serious commitment issue, isn't it, Scott? Well, yes it is, Sigmund. I was afraid I'd mess up the first time. I'm even more afraid now. Dad, you can't give up. There's never been a better Santa than you. Yeah, I appreciate that, sport. Maybe it's for the best, you know? If I'd spend more time with you, maybe you'd spend less time supporting the spray paint industry. Don't do that to yourself, Scott. You have been a great dad, and being Santa has made you an even better man. I'm gonna go out on an emotional limb here, Scott. Neil, don't try to make me cry. Whether you believe it or not, you have a great capacity for love. I know you can find someone wonderful to spend the rest of your life with. Don't let the facts that you have no time, no prospects, and a paralyzing fear of intimacy get you down. Hmm. Have you ever helped anyone? Ever? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look through my phone book and see who's still single out there and not too bitter. Yeah, and you know what, Dad? There's plenty of divorced moms at school who will go out with anybody. Well, as promising as this all sounds, I don't need help with this area. Your old man was a legend in high school. I was a double letterman. I had a Mustang. So as far as dating goes, I think if anybody can stir up the old mojo, it would be moi. Come on. I don't think there's a woman out there that doesn't want a piece of this. You really think I look fat? Ah, pumba, pumba, pumba. You're a pig. It's a compliment. Oh, thank you. Lucy! Uncle Scott! How's my little sweet pea? Oh, I haven't seen you in a long time. Well, tell me what's been happening. Uncle Scott, I learned how to swim underwater and I'm not afraid. That's amazing. Wait a minute. Maybe we'll have to go to the mall and get some ice cream. <gasps> Dad, plenty of women at the mall. Charlie?